over here! Oh. That's alright, he's got a second attack. Yeah. It was a 60%, what can I, what can I expect? Yeah. <laughs> Feel much faster, though. Try to keep up, Gatry. Keep up with you, General? <laughs> I think that might be a bit tough. I don't want to hear excuses. I can't fight too hard, Ike. All the women, women in town would cry if anything happened to my face. Um, why exactly would they cry? I mean... I mean, it would be tragic to lose you, but... No, specifically, my face. Because they all love me. General? I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> I miss... Uh... I miss Sheenan. You should have brought him. She Sheenan said he needed a break. So I gave it to him. Don't listen to him. He was just being lazy. Sheenan, lazy. Gatcher, you're going to have to come up with a better excuse than that. He's right, though. Sheenan, like, if, if Ike understands one thing about, um, freaking... Uh, if Ike understands one thing about Sheenan, he's not lazy. Yeah. Not by any stretch. Hot damn, Boyd! Yeah. Yeah, I like it. I don't like him getting hurt, but at the same time, it's not like there's anything else threatening there except for that, uh... Except for that general with the, uh, short spear. Is there a hole here? Or uh, here? no. Down one more. Here. There. Gotcha. How does Ike do against this guy? 1836. And Only three damage? Yeah, you can't really damage Ike. God damn! Yeah, my main concern right now is... Do these guys have uh, light spells? They don't. Oh, that guy's got an L light. Never mind. Oh, he can't but actually he can't, reach he anyway. He can't reach, yeah. They kind of screwed themselves over with those light traps. Yeah, I think go for... Go with Ike. Yeah, the only other one that can reach is this uh, L Thunder Mage. But again, Ike can take one magic attack. Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. 1836, let's do it. If this game were on any other console besides a Nintendo one, there would be an achievement for passing this chapter without falling in any without opening any pits. Yeah, kinda. <laughs> hey cha hey boss, save some for us! You guys gotta keep up. I don't want I already told Gatry, I don't want excuses. You guys either keep up or get left behind. Don't mind him, Mia. He always talks big after he gets his magic sword. I call hacks! <laughs> Will you all shut up and let me concentrate? <laughs> <laughs> Ike's bravado was factored into my strategy. Meanwhile, Nephany passes by. You would take that into account, wouldn't you? <laughs> I like the idea that they're, like, so non-threatened by the Dayans that they're just all, like, cracking wise. Hey, boy, can you soften him up for me, will ya? You got it. Let's see. How does this thing work? Like that. All right, I got it. And Boyd says this is hard. <laughs> Or, or Rolf. Yeah, I miss Rolf too, but... Yeah, you but... Can't, you can't use everybody. Mm-hmm. Alright. Oh, he is so dead. Like a well-oiled machine, dude. Hate to put down a good horse. Maybe I could just kill the rider. There we go. Um, you know what? Might as well. 
What's your movement? Yeah, can he make it back? Should be able to. Movement is nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven eight, eight, nine. nine. Beautiful. Yeah. yeah, just so we're not in range of that Elthunder Mage. That's my main concern. Yeah. So who would you say is your favorite of, like, the royals here? Like, of all the country leaders, we got Alincia, Peleus, um, we'll say Sonaki for Benyon, Tabar, Nasala, Kanengis, Degencia, Nyla. Um, from a cool factor standpoint, I would say, um, Kenegus. Yeah. From a character standpoint, Alencia. Mine is definitely Tabarn. Al um, Alencia is a close second. Speaking of which, by the way, he actually is in range of that L light, along with that L thunder. So I'm gonna use the I'm gonna use the Pegasus uh, the Pegasus knights to get him out of there. <laughs> They're not the Pegasus sisters. I know, I know. It, it's easy to forget. Yeah, they are, but they're not. Oh, that's something we can do sometime. We have to uh, get back to the um, archetype. Oh, rankings. yeah, we never did uh, finish that conversation, did we? Yeah, I forget where we left off. Uh, <laughs> I, I, got, I gotta look back at that. Hey, Leanne, care to give me a hand? It, is Tanith also in there? Or is that a... Oh, sorry, that's Marcia. Oh, yeah, she can do it, like, even untransformed. Yeah, yeah, she always gets two. I forgot about so that. So there's not much difference between her transformed state and her regular state. It's just a matter of, um... Yeah, I think she gets, like, maybe higher movement or higher resistance when she's transformed. In that case, okay, that l light spell over there... You know what, Marcia? Let's get you a little more action. Get you there with a javelin. Okay, we gotta start keeping, like, keeping track of that, um... Uh, keeping track of that, um, what's it called? Ballista? But I think we should be able to deal with that as we go. Meanwhile... Mist can get some good old fashioned uh, experience from the uh, Hawks. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and follow behind. Don't mind me. Uh, let's move a uh, Sig run down here. Okay, she gains more movement when she's transformed. Yeah, that that that's kind of par for the course with all the birds. I guess the only problem with Leanne is that she, like, has less availability and she joins at kind of a low level. That's true. But now, now that we lost, um, Rayson, we're kind of gonna need to use, uh, her, huh? Yeah. Oof. Yeah, these Hawks are definitely gonna help us soften up the line. Yeah, but they're getting damaged. And they're gonna get ballisted. Yeah. But you know, I don't think there's any stopping them. <laughs> no, there isn't. We all know... Oh, nice! ...how hopeless it is to tell the Lagoos not to fight. I mean, you can tell them to halt. Yeah. But are we gonna do that? Probably not. <laughs> the mages there are putting in the work, though. Is he going after the barn? Oh, oh it's a, a catapult. catapult! That actually makes me a little less afraid of it. No fooling. I think they're all catapults. The One of them was definitely a ballista. The one in back. That's a stone. That's a stone. Oh. That's a stone. Oh, they're all catapults. They're all catapults. None of them are ballista. Okay. That actually makes things a hell of a lot easier for us. Okay, so we can actually, with, with tanky units, we can just kind of absorb that damage. Pretty much. Okay, kudos to this guy for staying alive. Jesus Christ. But get out of there, dude. Seriously. Do you want to tell him to get out of there with Ike? Um, we just might. We just might. Unfortunately, you have to tell all three of them. 
Um, honestly, like, I'm kind of down for, like, leaving them, le leaving them to their own devices. I will say, their positioning is unfavorable. Like, they covered a lot of, a lot of, like, space here. So much so to the point where I can't really do much. That being said... One, two, three, four... Oh, the light barrier even blocks flyers! Yeah, yeah, it's like a tower. Go figure. Dude, are they permanent? Uh, yeah, I think so. Oh, boy. Alright, then. In that case, let's play some hit-and-run tactics with Har. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, that Elf Thunder Mage is a problem. Honestly, if one of those, um, if one of those, like, birds, if one of the hawks can take care of that guy, that'd be fantastic. But at this point, I'm kind of, like, content, um, like, putting, uh, Ike here, and then just letting the birds do their thing, and then just letting Ike tank a couple hits. Because yeah. th th these guys are gonna get past these light, these other light barriers right now. I think the shine barriers will eventually drop, um... It because that's how they work in Blazing Sword. Mm -hmm. uh, what's funny is, on the map, where the holes are, that tells you where the holes are, yeah. it also tells you where the Shine Barriers are going to be, so I guess they always put them in the same place. That's weird. Yeah. Yeah, I, it's just scripted. Maybe it's one of those things where it's like, it's less scripted and more they're programmed to put the Shine Barriers down, like, as soon as possible, and they kind of just always happen to go there because that's where the AI is predetermined to go. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I'm kind of content in like having the the uh, flyers down here on standby, and then we can just move forward once uh, to barn and the uh, hawks get a few more units out of the way. Okay. I am going to leave Marcia there in case one of them decides to you know attack her with magic. Yeah. Because that's the only thing that can really hit her from there, unless okay. I'm unless I'm missing a melee thing here. There's a, that's a short spear, but he's nowhere near, nowhere close. So, yeah. Let's move everyone forward for now, and then we can charge once the birds do their thing. Yep, okay. The only way through right now is where Ike is, and then up. Because the other way, um... Yeah, the other way has a pitfall, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. Uh, Runoff is ready to go whenever you need him. We have physics, so we can... You know, why not? Sure. Sure, for the experience. Yeah, I'm willing to use a physic for that. We can do it again. Um. Or do you want to save charges? Yeah, because I really like physic a lot. Mm-hmm. I'll at least vigor, just for the experience. Yeah, for the experience on land. Alright, that's it. The other thing about Leanne is um, she has a special ending text with Nesala. Yeah, I do know about that. If they have an A support, but the only way to do that is to take both Nesala and Leanne into endgame, because mm -hmm. otherwise they won't have enough time to A support. Jesus Christ, the barn is going like ape shit right yeah. now. Hawk shit. <laughs> you know what I mean. Ugh. Tavarn only has one setting, and that's up to 11. <laughs> hey, Tavarn, we need a plan of attack. I have a plan. Attack! <laughs> I mean, he's not like Skrimir, though. He's also, like, a wise fighter. Yeah. But he knows that what he's best at is, like, getting in and ripping things apart. Pretty much. Most of the time we've worked with the Hawk t tribe in these two games, like... Tabarn has run inter interference somewhere else, mm -hmm. where he's like, I'm just gonna take my hawks and make, like, as much trouble somewhere so that they have to break off and deal with it. Oh my god, that Thunder Mage was forced to go into melee range. <laughs> you fool! That wasn't even a critical dude! 
Ooh, that's wind magic. Yeah. That's fire magic. Not bad. I'm glad that they all wear, um, uh, coordinated robe colors to let you know what magic they're gonna do. Mm-hmm. Dude, the Hawks are just, like, ripping and tearing right now. Particularly to Barn. Oh, my lord. Unnecessary, but glorious. Honestly, if they can take out the, uh, the catapult uh, units, that'd be fantastic. I'm, I'm wondering if maybe we should pull them back soon, though, because, like, just so that they don't eat up all of our experience. Normally, I would agree with you. Counterpoint, um, we've lost a couple units these past couple of chapters, and I'm kind of, like, erring on the side of caution. Yeah. I do get your point, though. The thing is, like, they're going to de they're going to untransform, like, eventually. Not to Barn. He has Pavis, too? Yeah, because he's best bird. Oh, my God. Okay, yeah, maybe I am going to opt to have them retreat, because... Dear Lord. I'm just gonna go ahead and solo this map. He can! He can. That's the thing, he can. He literally can. Oh, uh, he's gonna take the wyverns now. Oh, my God. <laughs> he is going ape shit. Freaking rock hawk. You know what? Yeah, I am going to have them avoid from now on because now I'm realizing that this is a little much. Yeah, I mean, I mean, like, good. We're we're a lot safer now. But Jesus Christ, man. Okay. How also do we want to go about this? Also remember, you can direct with Ike even after you moved him. Mm -hmm. Okay, here's what I'm thinking. So, this is really the only mage here besides this guy, right? Yeah. Here's what I'm thinking. Okay. This guy can't really move... Oh, no, he can, actually. But, what I'm thinking... Ike go over here to take this guy out. Yeah. Leanne can Galder and we can rescue her afterwards so I can come in and take out this Elfire Mage. And from there, he can be he can basically go ape shit. Wait, which way are you sending Ike? Here? Okay, it turns out um above that soldier, above that halberdier, both spaces above him are pits. Are you kidding me? I'm very serious. Oh, and that's why they put that freaking... So we have to go down this way? Uh, that is also a pit. We're trapped! I mean, we got flyers, but yeah. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Yeah, we might have to wait for that shine barrier to run out. Oh boy, wow. Okay. In or, that case. Or, or we can, you know, just take the pit. Here's what I'm thinking, then. Like, send Ike in... Let him fall, deal with it, and then... Uh, but then that pit is still impassable terrain. So. Exactly. Here's what I'm thinking, then. Oh, wait a minute. I have an idea. Okay. Here's what we're gonna do. Okay. So, first of all, we're going to have Ike come here, take this guy out, and he'll take whatever's coming at him. Okay. And we go from there. I have a plan. He has a plan. I just hope your plan doesn't get me killed. It almost did back at the back at the caves. I know, I know, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> Alright, meanwhile. Direct? Um Or is it order? No, it's direct, because they're yellow units. There. Okay. Do we get bonus experience if they stay alive? Probably. Um, I can get a... I can get a confirmation on that. 
I'm going through a lot of tabs on my phone, checking everything for this chapter. <laughs> Uh, no, nothing for Hawks surviving. We'll get, All right, then. We'll get 7,000 for clearing, and we'll get another 35,000 if we clear in 10 turns. What turn is it now? Uh, six. six. I mean, I'm willing to try and go for that, but that means we're going to have to move. We have pretty much never gotten the time limit bonuses. That's true. All right. We pretty much just have to stay here and let them, like, come to us for a little bit. Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah, we can, we can use their wall against them. Yeah, I'm just, I'm especially thinking of the Hawks because we got a bunch of people up to level 19 and I've been, like, kind of stoked to promote more people. No fooling. And that's, like, maybe not happening because... To Barnes soaked up so much. Yeah, and Ike's getting a lot of other stuff, which, you know, isn't useless because of the Blossom skill. Mm-hmm. Yeah, my biggest issue is that they're not really moving all that much. We could... I mean, we could rescue somebody and drop them on the other side of the wall. That's exactly what I was thinking, actually. Yeah. The problem is, like, they're not giving us a lot of opportunity to move forward. Okay, so you see where the last shine barrier is on the right? Yeah. The, sp the two spaces above that are also pits. Oh, my lord. Besides that, this whole area in the middle is safe of pits. Okay. Besides these two spaces right here. Yeah. And then there's one more pit before the end of the map. Okay. I guess that's the reason for the, uh, turn thing. Yeah. Well, almost every chapter has a bonus experience goal if you beat it in so many turns. Mm-hmm. Here's what I'm thinking, then. We took care of the magic units around here, right? Yeah. We're these two are the pit spaces, right? Yeah. Have no, I fall? Uh, have no, I sorry, left one. Those two are. Have I fall in there? Oh, you were right the first time. I'm sorry. Okay. Those two are. Have I fall in there and just take a bunch of these guys? Yeah, he would survive. And then that'll move them forward so that we can start doing our thing. Okay. I'm gonna move them up here just for safety's sake. Okay. Okay, the stun's gonna run out by the time this turn is over, right? I'm pretty sure. Yes. So as long as we're here in this line, we're safe. What's funny about stun is even if you use Kanto on them from a Heron, they'll still be stunned. Quick question. Wind doesn't really affect, um, Wyverns, do they? No. They, thunder affects them. Yeah, thunder is the one for wyverns. So why not just do this? You can do that. Because I'm pretty sure Har can survive whatever's coming at him as well. I just wish I had a good way of taking this guy out. Yeah. Wind is effective against Pegasi. I know, I'm just checking something. Hmm. But the other side of it is that Pegasi usually have high resistances, so... It's dangerous, but not too dangerous. Okay. So these two are pits, right? Yeah. Which means none, no one here can get past here. So here's what I'm thinking. Tanith, come in here, and she can canto back. Oh, wait, but then there's a bunch of these units that can come after her. Yeah. I'm thinking maybe we have Har drop somebody tanky on the other side and we do that to like start moving our army over this wall because the mages won't be able to come get us 
the, the, the two wind mages won't be able to get to us. Mm -hmm. The other option I'm thinking is putting Nephany here to bait those mages. But they can't get there. Oh, frick, you're right. Yeah, the mages are stuck over there, too. Then in that case, why don't we do this? Uh, yeah, I'm starting to get really annoyed by this pit and by these pit shenanigans. Here, here, take. Let's say Boyd. Take Boyd, move him over to Har, have Har carry him across the wall. Then next turn we got Boyd with his crossbow over there, and Boyd will be able to tank any of the. Boyd and Har will be able to tank anybody who comes down to get him. You're right. Or you can do Gatry instead if you want. I have an idea then, actually. Okay. So... Sorry, I'm just contemplating right you, now. You are overcomplicating this. Well, excuse me! <laughs> So there's a pit here, right? Yes. Oh, of course there is. Okay, I'm gonna do this first. I know I'm overcomplicating this, but bear with me. All you have to do is pick up people and put them on the other side. Yes, but I want them to act immediately. They can't rescue and look and like take them off on the same turn. Yeah, there you go. And just leave him here? Uh, yeah. Yeah, he'll be, he'll be fine there. And now you have two people to fight the mages next turn. Yes. Oh, jeez. Th this is annoying, man. As a matter of fact, let's speed this up a bit. Sigrun? Pick up Gatry. You can't pick up Gatry. Can any of these guys pick up Gatry? No, they can't. No. Only Har can. Alright, so. We'll rescue Mia. So we can get him over next turn. Okay. You and can pick up Ronolf, you can pick up Sorin. Yeah, good. Good idea. Oh, they can't pick them up while he's transformed! Oh, he's too heavy, okay. Gosh darn it. Fine, we'll pick up Sorin. Okay. Gatry, I think we're going to have to have just, like, walk into one of the pits. Probably. Well, let's see how this plays out. He's still paralyzed. Oh. I guess he's just gonna take a couple hits. Oh, yeah, it's hit 100%. Yeah, paralyzed. Can't move. Yeah. I think he's gonna be fine, though. Yeah. They can't seem to damage him at all. <laughs> the horse didn't even want to try. Okay. Alright. Let's get something going here. Oh, really? Come on, you need one more. <sighs> yeah, hit him with Marcia first, maybe. Assuming she can damage because she's carrying someone. Hit him with uh, Tanith first, maybe? Maybe Sigrun. Oh, hey, Tanith, yeah, Tanith is on burden right now, right? Yep. <laughs> because there's a hole in between them, it didn't go into. Uh, That's hilarious. It didn't go into cinematic mode. Okay, we got something going here now. Yeah. Good lord.
So all of that is free space over there. No magic units except for these guys, which... Um... Oh, I have an idea, actually. Yeah, okay. So we're gonna do this first. Okay. Yeah. I was gonna say, if you don't want to attack with Har, you can use Har to pick up Nephany. And then... Use Leanne so that he can drop Nephany the same turn. Alright, next, Har. Actually, no, not yet. Good. We're gonna go here with Sigrun. And drop you off here. Ike, you're gonna come over here, and you're gonna take this guy out. Perfect. Might be a good time to mention that I think this is one of the, like, most despised chapters in Fire Emblem series history. I can see why. Like, not like, af not like top five, but like, if you took the most hated chapter, if you took one chapter from every game, this would, like, make a lot of people's top five lists. Uh huh. Yeah, I can see that logic. Because I feel like if you really, if you weren't doing just one per game, I feel like the list would have a lot of, a lot of mostly Thracia. Yeah, but that's also just because Thracia 776 is like, like uh, difficulty management is just atrocious. Shadows of Valencia also is No, Shadows of like, Valencia, here's the thing. Shadows of Valencia is one of those cases where it's outdated, uh, uh, okay. It, it kept the maps from Gaiden and did not really change them. No. Um, the other problem with it, and I'm almost tempted to go up here and take out this ballast, this uh, catapult dude. Especially because I don't think Har is in, in really any danger of any of the guys here. What do you think? Um, yeah, I think it's safe. That is a lot of units. No, though. yeah, that's that's a bit much. Yeah. Why don't you? Um. Here's what I'm gonna do then. Okay. You're gonna come over here? Physic? Boy. Yeah. I was gonna suggest the same thing. Yeah, that was my original plan, anyway. Yeah. Sigrun's gonna need some healing, because that was a huge wind tome she just took. But, um, it was worth. So, I'm actually thinking of maybe putting Har here with the, with the, uh, with the, uh, hand axe, just so we can get some damage in. Yeah, bait some people forward. Why not, right? Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, keep them out of harm's way of these guys, and uh, we'll uh, work from there. Okay. Do you want to just drop either Ronald or Nephany into that pit in front of Mist, just so that they can step forward next turn? They're in no danger of being attacked. Yeah, you're right. Let's do that. So... At least Ronald will be able to yeah. just step I, forward. I'm gonna have Gatry fall in here because he can't be rescued by either Tanith or um or that or like anyone else. Yeah. But Nephany can. Yeah. So here's what I'm gonna do first though, by the way. Ike I'm gonna direct them to halt. Just because, like, you know, in case things go pear shaped, yeah, we, we can, can call, call them, them back, back to attack. All right, going after Har. Not bad. That is going to use up his um, hand axe, unfortunately. So now he's a bit of a sitting duck. Oh, no. Oh, he, didn't he doesn't know. have the speed. That actually kind of works.
this battle ended up being way more trouble than it was worth. I agree. When are they going to fix this damn bridge? I mean, it's not like it, it's not like it's not like Crimea and Dayan initially built this with the pit hole, pit pitfalls in mind, anyway. No, obviously they were added by Ashnar to keep us from getting into Crimea three years ago. Good times. Oh, that was two seventies missed, Boyd. That's okay. Storm Sword. Really getting tired of these guys. And there goes that. Don't worry, Har, I got him right where I want him. That did a damage to Leanne. Holy yep. crap. Yeah, because it's based on how much defense they have. Mm-hmm. Oh uh, yeah, rejuvenate. Yep. Or uh, re re whatever that one is called, rebirth. Uh, renew. Renew. Renewal. Yeah. I'm really getting tired of these motherfucking catapults on this motherfucking bridge. You're actually a little lucky that you managed to walk around the last pitfall. Oh, gee, th you could have sent something! <laughs> I didn't think that was what you were going to do. Um, but it is two spaces above Ike now. I'm going- Ow! Ow! Uh, yeah, um, we meant to meant we meant to mention that. <laughs> you could have said something! Thought you were listening! Ow! Don't worry, we'll get you back up in a moment. Nephany, so beautiful and so cruel. Uh, sorry, what? You know, like, you have a ragtag group, but at least they're not boring. Trust me, I'm well aware. Twenty forty. Yeah. Pretty good. Burn to cinders. Boyd, can you take care of the other one? You got it! Uh, maybe not. <laughs> we'll see. I'll take care of this one. That is with weapon disadvantage! Yeah. That's insane! It's a good axe. I don't know what a dryad is, but I love this axe. I think it's some sort of woodland spirit, boy. Like... like a drink? Spirit! Not... Uh, not spirit as an alcohol. Spirit... never mind. Oh, hey, the light barrier went away. Yep, okay, there we go. <laughs> Just in time for Nephany to, to waltz on through. Thank you. Missed. I need to heal Boyd. Can you return the favor? Before that. <laughs> How you doing down there, Gatry? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what I wanted to do. Yeah. Return the favor. Who'd have thought a good song could put some pep in your step? Hey, Tanith, give me a hand! <laughs> On it! Mm. 
Yeah, I mean it's some damage, but H how does uh how does Nephany do against that guy, against that general? I'm pretty sure she does well. I think it's worth. Or do we want to just? Actually, that's a short spear, so that's a ranged weapon. Yeah. You know, um, let's go for it anyway. Yeah. Beautiful. Nice. Uh, Nephany, I love you. Yeah. Ever since the ever since the Makalov debacle, I'm scared of low percentages now. The Debakalov? Uh, the Debakalov? That's it, the Debakalov. No. Debakalov 2022. Uh, I joke because I'm sad. <laughs> Though I'm certain that that was the last chapter we were going to use Makalov anyway. Probably. Like, that really cost us nothing. In the, in the grand scheme of things. Besides maybe, like the weapons he was holding at the time. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, I'm gonna go for this. But then the other thing is that he probably would have lived through the entire campaign if not for that moment, because we never would have used him again. Yeah. Huh, that was close. Getting a little ballsy there, aren't you, General? What do you think it's like for Marcia seeing uh, her old generals again now that Marcia is a Crimean knight? Um, I kind of dig it, particularly because like it's established that Marcia is absolutely terrified of uh, of Tanith. Yeah, but like Marcia is the new Tanith now in Crimea. <laughs> like, that's they, true. Like they hold the same rank. How does it feel to be on equal... How does it feel to be a peer, Marcia? Not gonna lie, Captain. Feels weird. Yeah, because Tanith is the commander of the Holy Knights. Sigrun is... Uh, but Sigrun outranks Tanith as, like, Sonicky's personal bodyguard. Mm -hmm. Alright, I got this. Definitely easier than making deliveries in Ben Yon. Oh, man. I could have slept in. Didn't you take a nap, like, earlier today, just before this battle? Hey, it takes a lot of beauty sleep to stay this good looking. Never, pe never pegged you for the type to care about his looks. I don't, but it's a nice side effect. I don't know, Ike. He does look good. Nobody asked you, Mist. Yeah, yeah, Mist. Nobody asked you, says Boyd, like getting all like red. Level 20, Mist. Oh, hot damn. The benefit with Mist is the fact that she has fixed experience, like, throughout, so it kind of, like, works in our favor in that regard. I'm actually gonna. Uh, how's your meter at, actually? Like 20. Actually, we're good. Yeah. I I'm gonna keep him up. Yeah, Ronald hasn't seen any action so far. Yeah, but that's also because, like, we haven't had much of an opportunity. I am really excited for part four for this playthrough. Uh, to see how we, like... Go about it? Yeah. No, that... Dude, part four in this game does not fuck around. I'm excited just because I know for a fact we're gonna get our asses kicked. <laughs> Because part four does this thing where you have different groups again and you have to manually choose which units go with which groups. Yeah. Which is kind of how I wished Sacred Stones worked. I agree, frankly. Like, instead of, like, uh, choosing who to go with, it, like, goes between the two. Yeah. Sacred Stones has the same problem for me as... Tales of Exilia. I mean, we've talked about this. Yeah, before. we have, we have. I, I know, I know it's a, you it's a, agree. It's the fact, fact that you have to play, like... 
through the entire game just to see a different perspective of, like, one story. And, like, both perspectives... It's not, like... It's not the same as Hector mode in Fire Emblem, where, like... In, in like, Blazing Sword, where it feels like Blazing Sword is a complete story already, and yeah. you're just getting more. Like, to me, Sacred Stones doesn't feel complete until you've seen both Ephraim and Erica's sides of it. Mm -hmm. Like... Erica's got the better story overall, and you're, like, do it, you know, you're assembling all the other royals and stuff, but then you don't get to see, like, what happens with the guard, the guy who attacked your homeland. Like, that's kind of important. And that's where you get, like, the big reveal about... Where's uh, the where, where's Leon. the hole, by the way? Uh, there's none. Oh, oh, the, um, there's two spaces above Ike. So one, that, that okay. right there. Okay, good to know. Thank you. Yep. I thought you meant, like on that opening specifically. Yeah, so I guess dropping into holes is, like, really devastating, because not only It's do because you, of that paralysis. Yeah, not only do you lose your turn, but then you're helpless to attacks. Yeah, because it, it, like, unlike previous game, it's just straight-up stun. Yeah. Um, it's like they broke their leg or something. Yeah. Alright, um... Oh, can we pause just for a second? I have to take a phone call. Um, yeah. yeah. It's, uh, work-related. Give us a minute, guys. Hey, sorry about that. Just think about being a supervisor. Sometimes you get calls when you're not at work. Yeah, I imagine. Um, actually, Amber's gonna be in the same position next week, if I recall. Yeah, good for her. Um, good and kind of annoying. Oh, alright. Like, n not to, n not to, like, you know harp on her worker or anything like it's important work but at the same time it's like you know uh how do i put this <laughs> um she's she's looking for other things yeah basically nothing wrong with that uh-huh all right so i am down to get rid of this uh archer especially just to get these guys out of the way kind of yeah. what you're a level you're a level 19 already i with 50, 55 experience Maybe we should back off on using Ike for a little bit. Yeah. Well, wait, what level is he at? He's at 19 with 55 experience. He's close to capping. Got it. Because here's the... Yeah, yeah, let's not use him anymore. Mm -hmm. We can... There's one more chapter we'll get to play as Ike before his promotion. Um, So we can get that then. Yeah, exactly. In that case... um. Okay. I think I know what we can do here. So I don't think these guys are going to move, because they didn't move last turn. Doesn't look like it. So I want to trust Mia here to take out that, um... Uh, to take out that, um, Wyvern. Okay. Okay. Nice! Level up for Leanne. What's funny is they try to differentiate the Herons more by giving them, like, different songs they learn at higher mm -hmm. levels, mm -hmm. but nobody cares because everybody just uses Kanto. <laughs> Pretty much. Whereas in later games, they did more so, they made dancers get better over time by, like, putting Nick buffs on top of their... Go yeah. again abilities. Not not to mention they are they like also made it so that they can be at least somewhat combat centric. Yeah. Like how many times did we use like Ninus's Grace and stuff in Blazing Sword? We actually used them quite a bit. I actually kinda like the way they did it in uh uh the way they did it in um what's it called? Blazing, Blazing Sword. Sword. Oh Yeah. Right. Forgot about that. That's lucky that you can rescue, though. I mean, why not? They're just in a hole. <laughs> Ugh. I'm fine, Captain. Just need to sit a spell. Oh, boy. Hey, Ike, need a hand? Actually, I'm thinking of backing off a bit. Maybe give you guys a little more action. Oh. Well, how generous of you. Alright. 
So just, uh, yeah, move up Gatry and Soren best you can. I'm also just trying not to put anyone in Archer's way. Yeah. 